Hi there, and thank you for taking the time to watch the overview video of Mercury SMS. I'm going to be taking a look at all of the key features that Mercury SMS has to offer you. So some of those key features are Mercury SMS lets you send outbound messages from within inside Salesforce. Uh, you can do that at, a, at an individual level. You can automate it via workflow rules or process builders. Uh, you can do a bulk SMS to any list view on any object with a phone field. And you can also do it, uh, have a real time two way conversation via the message feed. From an inbound SMS perspective, all inbound messages are, are received uh, into Salesforce and every single outbound and inbound message is stored as a task record within the standard Salesforce activity history. Um, now, in terms of receiving inbound messages, you can, you can see them automatically appear uh, within the SMS inbox. Uh, you can also have that two-way conversation via the message feed. Uh, you can also receive email notifications when you receive a new SMS. And we also support inbound MMS as well. So if you need your customers or your prospects to be sending you photos or videos, you can use that feature uh, on the inbound MMS. One of the other key things that Mercury SMS offers you is SMS keywords. That allows you to perform a particular function with inside Salesforce when you receive uh, an inbound message containing that SMS keyword. The, the, the four things that you can do uh, via receiving a keyword are creating a new lead, you can create a new case, you can add someone as a campaign member, or you can perform a field update on an existing record. So we're going to be taking a look at those features in a bit more detail as we go through the demo. So looking at how Mercury SMS works, uh, so obviously you need to be using Salesforce, Enterprise Edition or above. And um, what you need to do is go to the App Exchange and install Mercury SMS. And Mercury is built natively on the Salesforce platform, but it integrates via a REST API with uh, a gateway provider called Message Media. So we're going to be taking a quick look at all of the, uh, the, the all of the ways we can send an outbound SMS from within Salesforce. So Mercury SMS lets you send uh, send messages to an individual. Now you can do that manually by typing out the message. You can select a predefined template, uh, or you can automate it via workflow rules or process builders. Uh, you can also do bulk SMS messages. Now you're able to do bulk SMS to a list of campaign members, or you can use the bulk SMS manager to send to recipients within any list view in any object uh, that has a phone field. And the final way we'll look at sending outbound messages is, uh, is via the message feed, which gives us that real-time two-way messaging capability. So let's jump in and, and take a look. So first of all, we're going to take a quick look at how we can send an SMS message manually. So you can see here I'm on Mick Fanning's record. Uh, it's on the lead object. Uh, so what I can do is access the send SMS button. So that's going to allow me to uh, start typing a message. Now I'm also able to uh, include merge fields as well. So what I can do is just select the object that I want to include the merge field from, go and grab the, merge, the field that I need, and then just merge that in. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, is send it to the, to the mobile phone. I can choose which phone I would want to be sending it to. And I, if I've got multiple message media accounts in my system, I can also choose which, which account I'm sending it from. So I'm just going to send it from my company default. So I'm going to click on send now, and that's going to send the message. Now over on the right hand side here, you'll see my phone and you'll see the message automatically pop into my phone here. So you can see there, Mix received the message and uh, that, that's come in uh, as expected. So now if I go back to uh, to my lead record, now I've just sent a, um, a, a message manually there. So if I go back to that, what I can do is, uh, is also choose to, rather than typing out a message manually, I can choose to select from a template. So if I click on here, I'm able to select from some predefined templates. So I'm just going to scroll down and uh, grab a, a predefined template. You can see it's already got merge fields included. Uh, now again, what, I'm, what I'll do in this instance is send now, but I could choose to send later as well and I can specify a specific date and time that I would like that message to go out. Uh, in this instance I'll just click send now and send that out. Now once again you can see that it's automatically popped into my uh, into my phone there. 
We're also able to send out uh, messages via, via workflow rules. So I've got a workflow rule already configured on the lead object that says when the lead source equals web and demo video equals true, then it, I want it to automatically send out a predefined template. So what I'm going to do in this instance is just tick on, tick on the box to mark that as true and click on save and then when we look over on the uh, over on mix phone here we'll see the message automatically pop in so you can see there how the message has popped in it's picked up all of the merge fields and that's been sent automatically as a result of the workflow rule criteria being true Mercury SMS also enables you to do bulk SMS messages to a, a group of people. Uh, now, there's a number of ways you can do that. First of all, you can send a bulk SMS to a group of campaign members. So you can see here, I'm on a, I'm on a campaign record. If I scroll down, you'll see I've got four campaign members uh, it, uh, as, as part of this campaign. Now, what I'm able to do is actually go to the, uh, to the send bulk SMS button on the campaign object. And that opens up a page again where I can type out a message message or I can select from a template and I'm able to send now or send later. Now while sending to campaign members I've also got a couple of other features. So I can choose to uh, send to all four uh, campaign members or I can actually filter down to campaign members with a specific status. So for example if I say well I only want to send to people with a status of prospect it will filter down and tell me it's only going to send to two of those four people. What I can also do is after I've sent this message I can automatically update their uh, status value. To, to send. So that gives me uh, the ability to send the message and update the campaign status uh, field uh, for each campaign member. Now, in addition to that, so I might not want to necessarily send to uh, members of a campaign, uh, what I can also do is, uh, is use this bulk SMS manager. So this is available from the navigation menu, and this allows me to send to uh, a list view on any object. So I've got three steps here. So first of all, what I do is select the object that I want to send to. I then choose the phone field that I want to send the message to, and then I can choose a, a lead. So if I pick on uh, my recently viewed leads, and then I can add uh, some additional fields to help me make sure that I'm going to be selecting the right people. So I'm just going to make a few selections there and click on next to now go through to where I can select my recipients. So as I'm working through, I can actually just come down and pick the people that I would like to uh, send a message to. So once I've selected those uh, those people, I can uh, I can click on next and go through and compose the message. So again, I've got the ability to type out the message manually, including any merge fields, or I can select from a template. Then when I'm ready, I simply send the, send now, and that will send that message off to all of the recipients that I've selected in the previous step. Now another really cool way of uh, being able to communicate with your uh, with your customers and, and prospects uh, via Mercury is through the uh, the message feed. So the message feed gives you a, a live agent style two way real time conversation uh, framework. So you can see here I'm on I'm on Mick Fanning's record again, which is on the lead object, and I've got access to this feed. So what I'm able to do is actually come down and just start typing out a message to Mick. If I click send there, that's going to automatically pop into my feed. And you can see it's automatically appeared into Mix phone. So what Mix able to do is actually come back uh, straight away and, uh, and, and reply to that. So the inbound message will automatically be processed through Mercury and it will automatically pop into the message feed, providing me with that, that live agent, that real time environment. Now taking a look at inbound SMS, uh, Mercury has a number of features here as well. So obviously we've just taken a look at the message feed where we can see that real-time two-way messaging coming backwards and forwards between uh, between yourselves and your, uh, your, your customers or your prospects. Uh, in addition to the message feed, um, 
basically every every inbound message gets stored as a as a task record on the uh, related to the object. Um, but we can be notified uh, in a number of ways when that message comes in. So we can we can receive email notifications. So the uh, the person who will be assigned the task that's related to the inbound message will actually receive an email notification. Um, and we've also got a really cool real time SMS inbox that can be uh, that that can be accessed from the from the home page and from a variety of other places in and around um, Salesforce. Now, in addition to that, we'll also take a look at some uh, some inbound MMS uh, features that we have in in Mercury. So, first of all, let's jump in and take a look at the SMS inbox. The SMS inbox is a real time notification uh, component that can be added onto the to the home page. Uh, so you can see here, I've got it added onto my home page in Lightning Experience. You can also make it available uh, via the sidebar component in Salesforce Classic, and you can also make it available uh, via the uh, by the utility bar within Lightning. In addition to that, you can also have access to it if you're using the Service Cloud Console. You can make it available in the console as well. So the SMS inbox gives you real-time notification when when an email, when an inbound SMS comes in. So let's say, obviously, uh, what what we've just done is sent Mick a message uh, looking saying we're looking forward to having him on board. Now let's say he's all of a sudden remembered that he's got a question uh, that he wants to ask us. But what we've done in the meantime is navigated away from uh, Mick's records. So we're not sitting on the lead uh, object anymore. Uh, we're sitting on the home page. So Mick's going to send in a message now. So Mick sends his message, and what will happen is it will automatically pop into my SMS inbox, and you can see how that's automatically loaded in. Uh, so now I can see I've received a message uh, from Mick. Now what I'm able to do is uh, click on the um, I can click on the I icon to take me through to the individual task record, or I can click straight on to uh, Mick's record, and that will take me through back to his lead uh, lead page, where I can then immediately go back and respond via my message feed. Now, taking a look at the inbound MMS feature that Mercury SMS has, you're able to have your uh, have your prospects and your customers send in uh, images or videos uh, from um, from uh, their phone, uh, and they will come straight into uh, into Mercury SMS. Now, you can see here we've uh, we've sent a message to Mick asking him if we can he can send us a photo. So, for example, that might be a driving license as part of uh, an identity check. So he's sent us through that photo with a message of "Sure, here you go," and you can see that that's automatically popped into my into my feed and the message is there as well that will automatically appear in my sms inbox as well now each task get each inbound message gets stored as a task record in the activity history and the image gets related to that so what we can do is jump into the activity timeline and we can take a look just to make sure we've got the right message uh, so we can see that's the right one we can drill into that task record uh, so we're on the right right message here, and we can click onto the related tab, and then we'll see a copy of the image that Mick has sent through as part of that message. Mercury SMS also offers you an SMS keywords feature. The SMS keywords let you perform particular functions within inside Salesforce when you receive an inbound message starting with that keyword. So the four things that you're able to do are you can create a new lead in Salesforce, you can create a new case in Salesforce, you can add someone as a campaign member to an existing campaign, or you can perform a field update on the record. So let's jump in and take a look at a few examples. So you'll see here I'm on the SMS keywords object and I can see I've got a number of different uh, SMS keywords here. So I can see some are field updates, some are going to create cases. So for example here if someone uh, messages in with uh, starting with the word hashtag crisis it will automatically create a case. Now we've got a few different options here. So let's just drill in and take a, a closer look at one of those. So I've got a, a, a keyword here, uh, the keyword name is hashtag email and uh, what we what the system will do when we receive uh, an inbound message starting with hashtag email is it will go to the lead object it will build update on the email field 
So if we jump in and take a look at that in action, let's uh, let's say we're on uh, we're on mixed record. We just want to check that we've got his um, we, we've got his email uh, correct. So what we can do is send him a message asking him to uh, confirm uh, and, and update if it's incorrect. So what Mick's able to do is actually receive the message and now he can come back and reply hashtag email and then put in his correct email address. Now once that's been received in by Mercury, it will identify that it matches a, a keyword. So now if I refresh my page, you'll see that the email address has automatically been updated to reflect the new value that Mick sent through. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what Mercury SMS might be able to offer your business. And if you would like to um, take a free trial, you can do so. Uh, so we offer a 14-day a free trial. Uh, you're able to uh, install that into Production or Sandbox uh, straight from the App Exchange, which you can access via this URL here. Uh, so once you're on the App Exchange, you simply click the Get It Now button here and uh, that will install and uh, message media will also provide you with a trial account with 50 credits so you can send some outbound messages as part of your evaluation uh, we'd also be more than happy to provide you with a live demo if you would like to receive a live demo please email your request through to that email address there uh, we look forward to hearing from you thanks bye